Hi, this is a demonstration video for an RCA 20F514 TD. It's a 20 inch flat screen TV. I'll show you the back here real quick for reference. That's the model number there and the serial number. <clears throat> Start with the back here. Um, so there are numerous inputs on this. There's your standard cable connection. F F connector, I think. Yeah. Um, then there's also composite and component inputs. So these top ones here. Sorry, there's not much light back here. Um, yeah, these top ones, the red, blue, and green. Those are your composites. Those offer a little bit better picture than, than your standard RCA input like this. This is a comp sorry, this is a, this is composite. And these top ones are component rather. Sorry, I got those backwards. These are component video. And then this is your, these are your, that's your composite. That's your most typical video connection that you get. Like say, you plug a VCR or DVD player. Um, and then this is your left and right audio. Um, down here, there's like an audio, there's a digital out for the DVD. And then there's some uh, other outputs here on the bottom for audio and video for the DVD. So if you wanted to hook it to, I don't know, another TV or to a VCR or something, if you wanted to record a movie off of this, I guess you could do that. So yeah, so there's a, some nice input features on this unit. And get these plugged back in here. I'm going to show you the rest of the unit. Okay. Yeah, then this is a flat tube setup. It's, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it is flat. It's a true flat. And um, this unit is so new, actually, that it will decode digital signals off the air so you don't really even need to have this converter box um, to watch TV on this it is modern enough to convert the existing digital back into you know this the format this TV needs which is which it'll take digital or analog so that's kind of nice but you can still do old analog um, like video games and stuff like that or if you have you know just analog VCR or DVD player or whatever for input you can still watch those on this too and then this unit also has a DVD player built in here so I'll demonstrate that as well um, so for starters let's just do the um go through the inputs here this is the remote for it um there's your dvd input this is your digital um signal for the coax input on the back and there's your analog signal from the coax on the back 
And like I say, it will decode both analog and digital, which is really nice. So that signal was coming from this analog decoder. So this is outputting analog to the TV. Okay, no signal. Let's see where we're at here. Video. So those, this is the inputs, the composite inputs from the back that I showed you earlier. And this is the component inputs from the back, which is from this DVD player. So this is going to be your best quality format. It would be those red, green, blue um, inputs. If you have a VCR or DVD player that outputs that type of thing. Or even video games. There are some old video games that have that type of output for the best picture and resolution. And then this is the internal DVD. And then there should be a front front. So this unit also has inputs right here on the side. They call it the front. I will plug these in. Audio. Audio and video. There we go. Now we gotta so that's coming from that DVD player as well. So I've got all the inputs populated on this right now. They're all working. And there is audio. Let's see here, let me show you these front controls work. So there's audio there. And then we hit menu. There are, you know, different menus. You can make adjustments for picture and parental control and programming of the channels and all that stuff is right here. See, there's color sharpness. So, and then there's your channel up and down. Let's get out of the menu here. There we go. And go back. Make different adjustments here. Go back. And exit. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, take a look here. So, um, let's just, uh, demonstrate the DVD player. On the spot there. And go back in. One thing I've noticed on this, the, um, sometimes when this tray comes out, it goes right back in. It's kind of hit and miss. It's, you could still use it and drop your disc in there, but hold it and drop it in. But for some reason, it just wants to go right back in once in a while. But anyway, let's let that load. Um, there's a speakers on either side here for stereo. It does have left and right stereo inputs on the side and on the back. One thing I noticed is that the, um, the audio input for the component, there is no audio input for the component. It, it just uses the same audio for the other, um, the other inputs. So you still have audio, it's just um, 
when you select component input, it's using the audio from the composite input is all. So it's still, still have audio. So there's that. That DVD is working. Pause. Play. Get some volume out of it here. Yeah, it is, you know, this picture, it looks pretty good. You know, these, these flat screen uh, tubes are actually pretty good. They're, they're pretty crisp. The colors are good. And um, I think this would be a good video game unit. And you got fast forward. Four times, eight times, 20 times. Regular play. Hit reverse. Not that there's much to reverse to here. Um, but yeah, you know, the the, the um, remote's just got your basic stuff on it. You know, it's typical with the addition of the DVD features. Um, yeah, so everything's working on this TV. Uh, do a quick walk around here. This is in uh, pretty decent shape. It is made in, I think, 2000, yeah, 2009. So, really, it's not that old. Most of the TVs I am showing in my videos are probably 20 years old or more. But, um, but this one has, you know, has some more modern features on it because it's a little newer than the typical tube TV that you see out there so it's real nice you don't need a converter box to watch TV on it you just need an antenna to hook to the back and you could watch regular TV on here so all right well that's all I had for this review demonstration thank you for viewing